Hello, this is Jon Kobber from EMD. Now I would like to show you how to use the Photomontage Exporter tool. I have loaded the SketchUp integration tool from this button and from within this window I have started up SketchUp and I have also created some exporters that I have run. So now you ha I have this in the SketchUp project which is similar to what I have here in my WinPro project. So I also have a Photo montage, which is a photo that has been calibrated, so it's a, a kind of photo matching tool that WinPro has, and it has positioned this photo correctly in 3D space. And we have another tutorial on how to do that, but you can uh, photo match a photo very precisely uh, with photo montages. So now I want to export my photo montage to SketchUp. So I click on this export button. And I have a list of camera objects, objects here, and there's only one. And I have the projection distance, I'll set that to 1000 just to start with, and you can see what that means in a little while. Uh, the projection size I'll leave as it is, and I'll press OK. And then I'll run the exporter. So here you can see that the photo from the photo montage is exported, and also, this tab here is created, and that means whenever I click on this tab, the camera moves to uh, the photo montage camera position. So now everything here uh, in my 3D model is shown where it should be uh, or where it actually is on the photo. So now I just disable the, the map here. So uh, this VCG. Would, which I put here uh, on uh, in my WinPro project is uh, positioned here on this photo. And I have also exported these obstacles which actually corresponds to some buildings that is located here in uh, the area. So, um, so far so good. Now I would like to, uh, yeah, first I would like to explain this 1000 meter distance that I had here in uh, the exporter window and that is actually the distance from the camera object right here out to to where this uh, image is placed so i could have made it smaller there's no need uh, reason to make it too big because then uh, some strange things might happen in, in sketchup if the distance becomes too far um, the projection size means that when i stand right here uh, the photo will fill out the window that is available. So I could also have said that it should um, fit the view horizontally, and that is actually what it does here. Or I could have said it should fit in uh, the view vertically, and then it would have filled up this space up here and uh, us downward. Um, but then, of course, that would be kind of zooming in on the photo, so then that that would mean that I would not be able to see this the sides here of the image. Uh, the auto, uh, which is I guess most in most cases uh, preferable, uh, makes sure that it you always can see uh, the whole image and uh, and zooming in as much as possible at the same time. Well, uh, if you have a look here, if I make the SketchUp window bigger, then it does not fill out uh, the the window available uh, anymore. So, so make sure that the SketchUp uh, photo, uh, no, the SketchUp uh, application is uh, maximized when you do the export. Else, uh, you'll end up with something that is too small, like here. So I'll just try to make another export uh, where I maximize the SketchUp window. And in this next export, I will turn on this feature, which says uh, project photo on surface. And that is almost impossible to explain what that means. So I'll just uh, show it. I'll say OK. And uh, before I run the exporter, I'll just make this uh, window a bigger so I get a bigger export. Then I'll just hide uh, the last export and then go back to WinPro and run this photomontage export again. So now you see uh, I got uh, another um, tab up here because I made another export. 
and I got another layer here um, with the new export on it. So apparently it is the same, but you can see there is actually now a shadow from the VCD up here uh, on the surface, and that is because the surface now look like like this, and um, and that was because of this uh, setting I had made over here saying that it should project photo on surface. So that what it does is it creates a, a surface from the camera out to the projected image and that makes and, and project that on the uh, elevation model and project the photo on it. So seen from the camera position you cannot really see it and uh, at the same time, you get the effect that you can see shadows uh, on the on the ground. So that is quite cool. Also, if uh, the VCG or whatever object you want to visualize is um, placed behind a hill or something, then it would actually be hidden uh, in this landscape here. So now I just try to make uh, the VCG rotate, and you can see that it is. Yeah, you cannot see the shadows over here so very well, and and you cannot see the shadows on, on the uh, buildings. So I'll just finish off um, showing how to make the shadows show on the buildings also. And the, and the reason they, they don't show up in the building is because the buildings is not a part of the elevation model, so you can see the surface is flat right here. So that's the reason why I exported these uh, obstacle objects, because they are a place where the buildings uh, are. And uh, if I um, now uh, sh show uh, the rotating VCD here, you can see the shadows on these buildings, at least on, on one of them. So, but uh, the buildings doesn't look correctly, but now I'll show you uh, another feature. You can export these um, objects from SketchUp and then you can project a, a photo montage image on them. And then they would uh, be just like the surface here, uh, and you can have the same uh, functionality as, as you have with the surface here. So I'll just try to do that. It's a good idea to uh, disable this rotating BCG whenever you do anything. And I'll export these to... I select them and then export them to Bin Pro. And now you can see a, a 3D object turned up here. And uh, that is, uh, if I hide the obstacles, you can see that uh, they are placed uh, exactly where the obstacles are, uh, as I expected. And then I create um, a 3D object exporter. And then I say I want to project a photo montage image on these uh, 3D objects. And I only have one uh, camera object. Uh, and I'll just say I'll take all selected 3D objects. And I select this object, and then I run this exporter. And then it asks if I want to edit the textures of these uh, 3D objects. And that can be very helpful in some situations. Um, but I, I will not do this situation. So now if I go back here and I you can see I got uh, a new layer, this layer, with the, this export I just made, and I hide the tree, the obstacle objects, and now you can see that I actually got projected the images uh, of the buildings on this one. So if I go back here, it looks like uh, it should. I got the build buildings projected on these boxes. And I could also go and say I don't want to view the edges um, and the profiles here. So then it looks more natural. And if I run the uh, rotating BTG here, now you can see I have the, the shadows coming right on, on the building as, as well. Well, finally, uh, I would like to say a few extra things here about um, preferences. If, if you want to have a good result here in SketchUp, 
you should go in here and set the use maximum texture size. You should enable that. Uh, else the image here would be blurry and, and have a low uh, quality. So, and if you want to export what you have created here in uh, SketchUp, um, you can use this export to 2D graphic to save it as a JPEG. And here you can go into the options and uh, change uh, the, the size of the image you want to export so to, to have a, a higher uh, quality. So, um, but often you will get a better quality by rendering your objects in a, a photo montage uh, than you get from uh, saving here in SketchUp. It looks uh, quite different when all the, the objects in, in SketchUp than it does in a photo montage when you render it there. Else, of course, you can export uh, the SketchUp project to other uh, applications and, and save it uh, from there and render it with more sophisticated rendering engines. Or you can install uh, render engines inside SketchUp, something like uh, V-Ray or something like that, and you can do a lot of fancy things in, in SketchUp directly. Good. Um, I think that was about it, about this exporter. Um, so I'll just say thank you for now and goodbye.